This is the opinion written by Judge Stephen Reinhardt, Andreas Magana Ortiz versus Jefferson B. Sessions, U.S. Attorney General, District of Hawaii, Honolulu, May 30th, 2017. We are compelled to deny Mr. Magana Ortiz's request for a stay of removal because we do not have the authority to grant it. We are not, however, compelled to find the government's action in this case fair or just. After building a life in Kona for nearly three decades, a father, homeowner, and businessman may be forced to leave the country within days. Magana Ortiz, who first entered the United States at 15, is now 43 years old. All of his children, ages 12, 14, and 20, were born in this country and are American citizens, as is his wife. His eldest daughter currently attends the University of Hawaii, and he is paying for her education. My brother and my sister, I don't know who would take care of them because my mom would have to work and I would have to work as well. His entire business would probably fall through because there, I don't have the experience to support it. Three United States citizen children will now have to choose between their father and their country. If they leave their homeland with their father, the children would be forced to move to a nation which they have no connection. My biggest fear is, being, is my family being separated. If they remain in the U.S., however, the children would not only lose a parent, but also be deprived of their home, their opportunity for higher education, and their financial support. I can't imagine having no dad with me. Since coming to the U.S., Magana Ortiz has become a respected businessman in Hawaii and well-established in the coffee farming industry. Magana Ortiz has built a house, started his own company, and paid his taxes. You're shooting yourself in the foot and you're shooting down Kona coffee business if you try and kick a guy like this out of the country. He filed for a stay of removal in September 2014. That stay was granted allowing him to remain with his family and pursue legal status. Without any explanation, in March 2017, the government reversed its position and ordered him to report for removal the next month. He was working to obtain citizenship when he was told he had to go. I never tried to, to hide it. I always was answered the phone when they was calling me and they says coming to see us and everything. All Magana Ortiz asked for in requesting a stay was to remain in this country, his home of almost three decades, while pursuing such routes to legal status. He has no one in Mexico saying everything that means anything to him is in Kona. This is my home. President Trump has claimed that his immigration policies would target, quote, the bad hombres, unquote. The government's decision to remove Magana Ortiz shows that even the good hombres are not safe. Let Andre stay in our country. Let his children have a father present and active in their lives. It's not too late to keep this family together. I've introduced legislation, H.R. 2794, which is what's called a private bill specifically for the relief of Andres Magana Ortiz. We are unable to prevent Magana Ortiz's removal, yet it is contrary to the values of this nation and its legal system. Magana Ortiz and his family are in truth not the only victims. Among the others are judges too, forced to participate in such an inhumane act, suffer a loss of dignity and humanity as well. I concur as a judge, but as a citizen, I do not. My dad was recently deported. He was the pillar of our family. He supported us both emotionally and financially. So right now we're struggling. We're struggling to keep his business alive. We're struggling to just continue our daily lives without him. On the weekends we would go and hang out with him and now he's just not there. Uh, very sad and very disappointing in many ways, but there's not much that I can do.